1D just moving across to help Icon here in the mid lane. Double scout, big start here with Tarzan, but now the dive starts on Dilby. We saw this coming. He flashes out of the way. The MVP just gets by one deep with the Haymaker. He sticks around. It counts as a solo kill. He drops. And the Aurelia on the board first. It's going to make laning phase a little bit more fun to watch. We talked about FPX getting out of it, making themselves known. The balls duet on the Icon again. Chris with the flash in. Icon in trouble. The Wizard Blight sets up the Kentucky blows. Chris picks up the kill. And leaves on the shore where See, an FPX is play style. You slowly creep in your way and then you move no, no. elsewhere. He got six. He got six. I want to just walk into a six. I really takes it up, but do we still diving? Will he die for next question? And Tarzan can't catch up. Time being with the eye exposed. Jam looking at the smite field. He'll get it, but for FPX, the fight getting sent off with the balls to end in the side. I want to be caught out though with the moonlight vigil. It all comes in for the wombo. You move into a choke versus FPX. What do you expect? Harley running away, but grabs the activation. Almost nearby as Icon forces the flash out of Chris with the flaws to it. The flash out from the Vanguard's edge. Doing me is a menace once again. Wins a Baron, but gets RNG, don't do the same at the X, but now Doombie's in the mix. Oh, that's two man falls, Juwet. He has the Vanguard there, so against the corner. Maybe it's not like RNG, because I want him, even though he's buying time, sends Doombie up forward. He's having his arrows blocking the Seraph's gauge shield, and Nookery's still off the wing. The Force Juwet once again takes down Tarzan, because Doombie is literally taking you than a mundo. At this point, FBX can do no wrong, do no harm, except if it includes LNG. On the line again, then free fire. Free hitting, it doesn't matter how much they miss either. The Phoenix tries once more. Well, he's, while he's going in, he did a bad time. As 1v2 in the bottom lane, like, and this is another one. Level 15, Aurelia has just caught it down. Arle, the majority of the care. Nice ball, Stuart. He's not super carry for a reason, guys. He is absolutely serious. And he's building a gargoyle stone fight. Like, he's just going to be unkillable. And in once again, yet following up. Look at the all in. Nice little face breaker from Iwandi, but look who's still nice and healthy. Like not having a great time with him darting all over the place. Kill number 10 and FPX in. The shield of Drans dissuade them further. Chris walking into vision, but FPX burning the midnight oil a bit here with the health bars. As LWX over the wall without a prayer. Over in the moonfall as well, but Nugri's ulti sets up for doing me. The all in Wombo as Chris separates the team. Tien into the back line. Icon clearing out, but he's only buying space. Nugri takes the bounty, and the Phoenix does it once again. Protection meant built up. FPX are running towards the Dragon Ali over the wall, but Icon runs forward onto Tien. The jungler at half HP for the Everfrost, beautiful, but the by time he goes golden crisp into the back line. Ali does think of it as well. Tarzan through with the slicing maelstrom, doing absolutely nothing onto the back line. Chris has done everything he could, but Doomy with the carry, the shield of Duran, Light Yagami running for the hills. He keeps LWX. bowing down. LWX with the triple kill, and Dagda, no Penta, because the jungler comes in, resets, destroys Icon Leblanc, and the Phoenix is acting like the first seed of the split. Story we talked about has been favoring Tien. At least for the mid game onwards. Here in the second game, then here in the series, the Phoenix looking to move it to match point as Chris sets up the engage. Snookery comes in and slices them through. Play with FBX. I dare you shout the Phoenix as they now move to the Nexus to clean up and move to match point. Three ultimates. Actually, sorry, two ultimates in that fight. So maybe this is it for FBX. They're split. They're split. Destiny's use. I want he tries to get out though. The ultimate from LWX. So when he's in a choke, a fellas with Shuriken's enabled too. Light has to get out of there. LNG, no, it's doomed. The spear. Wave clear is not something to be sniffed up on that Netflix. Really not. Tien as well. Harley's caught out again. The rest of his team over the wall. Gold card. Everfrost. The hook as well. The top lane. Renekton dropping the chain a little bit. Goes into GA, but it's set up by Iwandi with the face breaker. Chris not getting the hook. It's chaos in the pit, but Nogri's already picked up the first kill. Icon goes in. He's exhausted with the Moonlight Vigil with LWX. Team fighting God once again. A spear hits him. Tarzan jumps in, but you're fighting against the Phoenix. Of course you're getting burnt. Quadra Kelp, I'm not great. That's what I want to know a little bit more about the scaling and what.
what to expect. Never mind. Nuggery flashes I'm over the wall. The rocket trap shut me up. And Destiny being used onto Breathe. Slice Maelstrom and Nuggery into a Mega Nar moment. Hasn't used it for now. Zumbi gets the first kill. They jumped against the wall. The Phoenix rises straight away in game one in the top line. Started by Beishan, Nugri trying to threaten, and Pings are coming down. Destiny said the aggressive play put just out of range, and Death Center onto the Blitzcrank. That's just not compute. Missing now set up and flashes away, but he said immediately it's LWX to pick up the kill credit, and Tien fills the Blitzcrank. Viego exists, duel me with the gold card, and that's what you call a beauty. The flank right though, but Shanks can't get any work done. Tien has followed him over the wall. Getting some movement speed from the hallowed path for a little bit. Tien rocks in once more. Good damage from Elka. Three flies on in the slice Maelstrom. Just out of range. The box laid down. LWX with the box is going to get the kill first. He's poked down, flushes over the wall. But now they're separated. FBX might be low, but WE are cornered now that Nugri's joined the play. The Phoenix rises again. And WE slide. 50 seconds till Baron comes up as well. As Chris sets himself up with a bit of a Shirelia's rush. Chain disruption comes through, missing. Oh. Gets the hook onto the support, but down he goes. The problem is, LWX is walking forward. Elk in the middle. Breathing with the slice of shot, but LWX over the wall. He survived. Bayshunk trying to run on him, but he's got Severum. It doesn't matter. Kill the support. We'll kill the rest. And Chen's not gonna do anything. Actually, he's gonna end up going down as well. And FK might just be able to push through mid for the end. I mean, he's got weird sand. Nugri can auto attack this. The death shakes with one more. The hive's gonna be pumped. The Phoenix in 36 minutes. They were. Oh, but the kid they can play around with this one. I'm not sure for it though. Seven play, chain corruption now available for LWS, and he hasn't used it just yet. Cannon Raj as well, missing blocks it. Chris goes forward though, target flexion. Wins out of the turret shot, doesn't dissuade them. One more auto and a Q. Over the cannon. Interesting play. No! Quick arrow, yeah, good timing. Ladies and gentlemen, short lyric for me. Great exhaust though as he survived, but Chris has actually saved the play once yet. Come on, he catches him out. Lyric, the only reason you don't look forward is because Chris has saved the day once more. The engage under turret looks way too easy. Doomby started it. He's following it up as turret echo changes again. Tien's gone so deep that even he will survive. Baron o'clock. Once again, the past four minutes have just been about Baron. And Dex going to pull off his down the family find the fight, the solar flare, the cannon in the middle. Tien cornered out, but face shot. Into the back line, WE's hope rests on the jungle, but Tien gets a reset. Still be flying over the place, a catch on top of Breeze. How does Beishan get such a beautiful ulti, but FBX still wipes them clean. Now they're all over the place. WE on their last defense before straight connects again. The solar flare, he's into the back line, under a turret, he's going golden. The Phoenix is doing more than flying. It's burning, WE. The skin peeled off of their flesh. FBX in front of the Nexus have destroyed them once again. In front of the, they've got another one to bite the dust. In the bottom lane, the LPL delivery. Flash over the wall, Crisp is dead. LWX set in a 1v2. WE trying to come back in the series, but a 1v1. LWX and Elk battle each other. Missing's left on his horse, but Rel's actually winning oh, no. with Gravitum uh, there. Missing, can he do it? No. Oh, LWX might have to expend a cyclone or a flash to get out of here. He definitely Well, he might actually turn it because there's a teleport. In fact, make that dust here as Chris sets up the box, slow them down. That cyclone, he flashes away, but Nugri jumps on the first target. His friend changes direction in a quick instant. Shanks in the middle of everyone, trying to blast them, but a 5 0 rise. Give back on the mid lane play. And this is where FPX drive, right? In a lane with the enemy's right first. Yeah, 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 yeah,
championship in a long time. First confirmed LPL team going to world. First team confirmed for the finals. All we can say is MPX know the world is watching. It's the Phoenix.